Good afternoon, good morning, or good night, whenever you're watching this video. Um, today, I want to talk a little bit about Buck Rogers and sort of what happened, right? Where did it go? Who is this person? And I know what Gen X is thinking, or people up from Gen X. Everybody knows who Buck Rogers is. I agree for our age bracket, but below, maybe not so much. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a, a discussion about something here that that I, I think bears some, some interesting comments. Uh, so Buck Rogers, what the heck is Buck Rogers? So Buck Rogers dates back to like 1929 was his first uh, first story appearance anywhere. And uh, he uh, was this guy who went into space. He was exploring. There was an accident. He got frozen and he wasn't seen again until the 25th century. So Buck Rogers in the 25th century, because in the future, they had the ability to unfreeze him. He was still alive by some miracle. And he gets to exist in the 25th century with 20th century sort of attitudes toward things. Yeah, they really fit in all that well. Most of us in my age bracket, which is Gen X, um, remember the sort of 80s TV show that by today's standards wasn't really all that great. Uh, it, was, it was great for them. But, you know, if you look at it now, you're like, well, it's not all that great. Uh, it was cute. I enjoyed it uh, as a teenager. I tried to rewatch it recently. I got through three or four episodes, mainly for nostalgia reasons. Uh, I think if I was trying to watch it today, I think it'd be canceled after the pilot. But I think they do it a lot differently now, just because cinematography is different and special effects are different. But it's it's dated, to say the least. I think it's on Tubi. Uh, but whatever happened to this thing? So you know, one thing that may not be known very well, I, everybody knows uh, for TSR, if you watch this channel, you, you, you're you familiar with the fact that uh, Gary Gygax was running TSR. Uh, he got bought out. Uh, another family came in, sort of owned it uh, for a while. That family also owned the rights to Buck Rogers. So they tried to sort of reawaken uh, the character in some fashion. And, um, you know, did, did it work? Did it not? Well, not, not, not as well as I think they would have hoped, because I think they kind of bought TSR in the hopes of not only sort of in reinvigorating TSR, but also bringing out their intellectual property in the form of, of Buck Rogers, because they couldn't figure out any other way to capitalize on it. So they they were trying to push it through there because by then the TV show had been canceled. So they they went into TSR and said, okay, great. Well, we're going to do a, a book, uh, a game. So they, they did have a game. I've never actually seen a copy of it. I, I know it's out there. I, you could I found a couple of copies on eBay, never played it. Um, I don't know anybody that has, I'm, I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying it, it probably didn't fit uh, the TSR mantra all that well, because of the TSR sort of culture all that well, because it didn't do great. Uh, they had four books kind of all came out within a year. Um, they uh, eventually just sort of gave up on it because they, they wasn't really kind of going anywhere. And it's, I don't think it's because Buck Rogers, the character was any better or worse than what it was when it was first created. I think it just didn't catch on because the values of people from 1929 and to you know, late 80s were just a lot different. And uh, I think the, the stories that Buck Rogers was telling and the way it was being told just didn't translate into that an audience at that time. And, and I think that brings up another important point so that when we see things that are remakes, like, oh, this movie was made 30, 40, 50 years ago, and there's going to be a remake, there's going to be an update, there's going to be a reboot. And everybody complains that it's different. Well, yeah, but audiences change too. Uh, and sort of what's important to audiences changes. Are all those reboots successful? No, no, some of them are, some of them aren't. Uh, are all those reboots or remakes uh, worthwhile? Or do some of them just kind of like, you look at it like, why did you bother? Well, there's some of that too. Um, could Buck Rogers find an audience today? Maybe, but I think you would have to take the concept and go a completely different direction with it. I don't think you could say, okay, we're going to go to the 25th century now. Uh, and sort of continue the storylines because, you know, if you look at some of the tech they were talking about, we kind of have some of it. Um, so it's not that sci-fi anymore. It's just sort of this dude off in the future with, with weird attitudes towards things. Uh, and, uh, but it, I think, you know, conceptually it's kind of cute, but I think dated wise, it just doesn't necessarily play all that well. Uh, and part of it was because, you know, I, I think um, the family that kind of controlled it had a specific vision and that vision just didn't find an audience which is part of why I think as a writer, uh, sometimes it's nice to to work with people because I usually have a co-author on things because I may have a vision for something that that's cool to me, right? But, you know, it, it may not be cool to anybody else on the planet. Uh, and sometimes it's always nice to to get that second opinion. And I don't think they necessarily got it with Buck Rogers. Um, 
I really enjoyed it as a teen. I have the books, uh, the forum that TSR put out. Uh, I read them years ago. Probably never going to reread them. They still sit on my shelf. Uh, but um, I, I think the character conceptually is neat, but I just don't think it has a place in today's sort of entertainment world uh, just because of the, the way the stories were told. Maybe if you updated it in some fashion, but uh, that being said, the TV show is kind of neat to watch once in a while, but it, it doesn't have that same sort of um, feel that it would have had when it was new, uh, mostly because it's 40 years old at this point, but uh, some shows age beautifully and you can watch them over and over again. Still, you know, uh, some shows age horribly. Some shows kind of, eh, this one was kind of in the eh, category. It aged okay, but it, it could be a lot better. Um, so anyway, TSR did actually have the rights to this. It's not a room. It's not just sort of, you know, Hey, did this actually happen? Yep. There they are. There's four of them. Uh, there was the board game. Um, was it the right thing for TSR to do? Probably not. They probably should have focused on on uh, what built the company in the first place and maybe try to rescue it that way. And now it's part of Wizards of the Coast and the rest is history. Uh, so um, have a nice day. Click like, subscribe, comment if you disagree with what I'm saying. Love to hear about that too. Um, everybody have a great day.